me up in here, man. Mm -hmm. You know what's up? You know how it's that was And I said it. You got a problem with it, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Early, talking that talk early. Talking that talk early, man. Let's go, man. Hey, yo, we all grown, man. It's hard for man. What up, Brody? Glad you're ready. It's on live. It's live already, bro. You late. All right, fuck. No, it's late. Fuck, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, you know what time it is, man. It's up again, man. It's up again, man. Show me. This shit's so real. Hold up. Come on, man. Sit down. I ain't even about to talk about that, but listen, this is so real. What we was doing early. You already know. All right. That was crazy, though. Shout out to my boy, Seth. This ain't no big shit. Shout out to my boy, man. This is Juice, man. You know what time it is. Your boy, Swing and Trig, man. One and only. We up here from Hartford. You know what's up, y'all? What up, y'all? Positivity. Positivity. At all. We do get ratchet and bring it back sometimes, but we bring it back. Today, we got my boy. Sal Pacino, oh, man, Hunt Zone. Zone Productions, man. A oh, lot of y'all niggas don't really know about my boy, but a lot of concerts and a lot of the waves y'all be riding and a lot of the other entertainers that we can't speak about, it's the guy right here. But I'm going to give him a chance to introduce himself to y'all and tell y'all what he pushing. What's going on, guys? What's popping? What's up, Facebook? What's going on, Hoffa? CT, New England. What was touring there? No, basically, I'm one of the producers some Homicide Hoffa A6 Little Web Series. Also, man, a couple of artists, Starbucks, Cartier Chase. Some of y'all might know me from back in the days, Diamond Guns. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. Me and my boy Swing, we go way back. We actually mean Swing, man, the Bing, man, it's crazy. <laughs> y'all the Bing? Yeah, me and yeah, Swing, man, the Bing, man. Damn, Tom Robinson. Yeah. Shout out to the Five Builder, man. <laughs> <laughs> Five <laughs> Builder, man. Tom you Robinson, know. Man. Yeah. And, and we bump into that, that single, dude. Yo, I, no, no, I was trying to tap Yeah, home was home. Yeah, home was home. I was trying to find home too, man. Somebody about to sign that. Yeah, home was home. I was trying to sign that. Yeah, home was home. I was trying to sign that. Yeah, home was home. I was trying to sign that. Yeah, home was home. I was trying to sign that. Yeah, home was home. I was trying to sign that. Yeah, home so what's good with you, man? What you got going on right now, man? We right know, now, homie. You know you got Hop, 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 Hop. Right now, right now, we back at it. We filming season two right now. I'm saying, Hop, Hop, we come man. It's about to be crazy hot, man. It's about to be crazy, it man. I'm saying, it's about to be, man. I think last year was lit. It's about to be lit, man. We ain't fucking around. Legal. You know what I mean? Um, right now, Starbucks working on his, um, his mixtape. For me, it was a lot of consequences about the mixtape. Everybody was mad. Say it's going to King of Hopper, but he about to drop it. So it is what it is, man. Boy, boy, son, boy, 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 man. What up, dude, man? man? Hey, yo, son, 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 he about to drop. Son, he about to drop. Only built for Cotty is. He dropped it at mixtape. So we got a couple of prices dropping. My boy, Ben's about to drop back. Talk too. So it's kind of hard to say in the making, man. We got Spirey, another up and coming artist. Ben, he about to drop his prize. He actually single out right now. Ooh, la, la. Go check that out. Where they can find you, I do. Those that don't know. You can find me on Instagram. Sal underscore Pacino underscore. Holler at me, man. You want to get wavy in New England, man. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. I get wavy through New England, man. You want to get wavy, man. It's a small budget, but holler at me, man. Definitely want to wave the CT, man. No doubt. He's like the fucking originator, you know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of us follow Super High and Bro, man. He's been up there. He's been doing this, man. He had French Montana posted up on the field, on Garden Street, everything. Yeah. 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 I ain't gonna say I'm gonna ride with Fur because it was probably with Fur, man. I ain't gonna lie. He pulled me in. It was crazy because it was around the time when Benz, um, in the went to jail. The face came through and grabbed everybody up back when he was Guns and Nero. And I ain't had no arms at the time. No, he was locked up. So I was, it's just as chilling. So how did Fur? That's when he was going by my side of supply. He had about, yo, Sal, what you doing, yo? I'm, I'm linked up with Dan Grease and I said, it's on Max. Need you come aboard and be romance, whatever. I said, hell yeah, I'm gonna ride with you. So I'm gonna go to New York right now. I took him to Cal with him. Pop my shit, it was out, boom, in the city. It was just a rap from then, and saying, uh, that's why I think home, because homie had to grab me in, saying, and pull me in, like, you know what I'm saying? And just like, yo, come on, drive, man, I had to come in. So, we can state the obvious. We all know where we're from and what we've been through, you know. For those who don't know, then I'm not going to tell you, but we know who he is and who he related to. But at the same time, what made you want to step into the entertainment field rather than keep playing? A lot of people don't know where you're from. What's um, where you from? Oh, I'm from Memphis Street, man. That's where I grew up at, man. Yeah, that's right. Memphis Street, Memphis Street, Memphis Street, Memphis Street, Memphis Street, Memphis Street, Memphis Street. Memphis Street. Memphis Street. Memphis Street. That's where I grew up at, man. Murder, motherfucker. Fuck y'all niggas talking about. It's the murder. Fuck y'all niggas talking about. It's the murder. Cut all my 
my real niggas in the murder, nigga. Y'all ain't gonna see me, man. Fuck your niggas, suck them up. Yeah. Yeah. I call that shit seat block. You know why? You got Greenfield Street, Info Street, and Mansfield Street. It's a seat, man. JNC block, man. That's what I call it, man. I represent the field, man. All them blocks run together. I ran that whole fucking circle right there. All my life, man. You feel me? Shout out to my niggas from South Marshall. I'll be over there, too. You feel me? And my niggas from Hunt Zone. But, you know. But I love Hartford, period, man. But when I started doing music, it was crazy because it was crazy. When I first started doing music, actually, it's crazy. I started with Kaiser. Because Kaiser used to rap back in the days. And Shout out Kaiser, man. Kaiser, man. Kaiser, what up, boy? It was back in the 2011 days, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude. You know about that, man. Shout out to my Agnum 20 Love members. Y'all never got to tell me that. I think, I think, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. right? So we ended up putting the motor. Yeah, I said, man, my boy Kaiser about to rap. So the motor was scared. We was like 200 deep. We was crazy deep. So so Kaiser grabbed the mic and started rapping and shit. Whatever, whatever. We so deep. So Nas ended up going performing. So now I stopped this performance because we were so crazy deep behind. We were like 20 deep, man. And I was like, yo, I ain't rapping no more. I don't oh, know who yeah. niggas is. Niggas get up the stage, man. Hell Fuck that. Yeah. So we were like, yo, can you get up stage? He's begging to get up stage and this and that. So we got, we was mad as hell, though, but couldn't get up stage because now they know it. So we couldn't get mad. Right, I right, thought right. about years later, like, damn. Yeah. Only know us, man. We twenty people at home. Murder, this murder, shit, murder, friends. Murder. Who the fuck? Some niggas just be at home rapping, oh, standing behind shit. stage. You don't know us. He rapping. Nah, he didn't want. Nah, he ain't fucking nah, nah, to us. Nah, nah, show. Nah, so we got off stage, but that's when I knew that I wanted to be part of music. I looked at the crowd. I'm like, yo, this what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to do music at that time. Then years later, I ended up um losing a block one day, and it was ours. I wanted to manage. His name was Inky, whatever. So. And Hootie like, no, oh, yo, guns just came up from Juvenile. I'm hard as hell. I said, word. I said, home beat this nigga Inky in the battle. This is what we fucking with. So we had Inky and Guns start battling. So niggas start battling. Guns won the battle. He was talking about that Lexus, Axis, Acumers, and shit like that back in the days. That and shit he was talking about Lexuses and so it's not the guns, man. Fucking um, Dan Cruz and shit like that. He had that shit in the Apex and boots and all that type of shit. So it was like, damn. So I'm like, I'm fucking with this nigga. And kid, Inky was on that Red Man type of fly. I, I fuck with Red Man with respect Red Man, but he was on that Bomb Z shit. And, you know, I, I I was on the hustling and get money and and he was on that shit that I was on, so I'm like, we were on with this nigga right here. So you know, I stopped managing him and it started that was like nine seven, nine six around that time. That's so guns. I'm like, yeah, that's guns. That was before Diamond Guns. It was just guns, guns, guns by itself. And you feel me? Well it was torn up and the major D came involved. It was just guns by itself. But I ended up going to jail in ninety eight. We had a movement called the OBC shit. It was like over bridge click, whatever back then. Whatever I ended up going to jail. I went to jail in 98, so that's when he got down with Dub and them. They started Major League, that's when he started Diamond Guns. Mm. It's really, it was me and him by side label, saying we could do this on our own. But I ended up going to jail. My phone blowing up now, everybody calling me right now, watching a lot. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, we'll call back later, man. Yeah. We on the air, man. Hey, but this shit was crazy, though. Real nigga time. Yeah, we real nigga time. Fuck, nigga, come on. What the white dude watching me? Yeah, yeah. 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 When I love you, man. I'm the type of nigga keep. Um, no, but the shit was crazy, though. That's how we all started off like that. So we started doing the studio. We saw these star over here on metal in the studio over there. He started, we started recording over there. Then, you know, started recording, hitting all those demos and shit, selling them hand to hand. And it just took off from there. Then I came over from jail. He had the album out, Diamond Guns. Shit was lit. So I just came in it. Man, strawberries. Man. Myself in, yeah, strawberries, man. Fuck your nigga talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's crazy. Man. That's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't even say and listen to talk. Because I was dead. Like, yeah, you was dead? Yeah, I can't, dead. Yeah, I can't even say Niggas wasn't dead? Yeah. But I was dead, motherfucker. Yeah. All these niggas. Man, strawberries, <laughs> man. Yeah. Ah, hey, oh, boy, shit, man. Fuck that nigga talking he was about. dead, man. He he was man, dead, man. Man, Chief Dot know me, man. What's going on? Come on, Benz. G dot know me now. <laughs> he went way back. I'm from the dude. I'm from the I know from the dude. Like, come on, I think we got some more, man. Come on, man. But at that time you said Avenue, it was from 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 fucking God Street to motherfucking to from 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 OG. That was the Avenue. Point blank. Please, the yeah, you know that. You get to the nitty gritty of this shit, man. Yeah, but those that don't know, what was that shit? But those that don't know, where was 
What was the yeah. avenue? You know, from God Street or motherfucking OT. That yeah, was the avenue. That's that's that, nigga. You knew that, man. And then, the nigga was from Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> that was the avenue. I ain't gonna shit. Yeah. And I ain't from the avenue. Keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to run the niggas from Hartford. That was the avenue. You told me, like, if you live from, like, word to me, if you live from Westbourne Parkway, right? Westbourne Parkway, yeah, everybody knew what we were going for. From right there. Westbourne Parkway, <laughs> so right there with McDonald's at, with the fire station at. That's no block. Nah. You from Hartford. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> real rap, hey, yo. Man. Hey, yo. So let me ask you, bro. Yeah. What, what, you know, we know yourself, but you know what I'm saying? You do a lot of different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Different things out here. So what's basically your handle? What do you go by? Sal. Sal? Yeah, so I go by a what, what do you do? No, on your business profession. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh, uh, I'm a manager. Basically, manager, and I basically run the operations on his own. So, and also, I'm uh, run the operations on my iPod. Shout studios. out to Huntington Street, man. I, I do, I do. Basically, I do all the marketing, promotion, pinning the ideas. We all sit down as a collective team. It's just not only me on his own. You got, you had Noe Extra. Okay. Then you had Benz and Nero. It's me, I know him as Guns. He's Shut definitely up. a CEO and an artist. Okay. You got Funk Wild to me. So it, 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 it's a lot of us. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to my boy, Big Face Hat. Shout out to my boy, Big Face Hat. Shout out to my boy, Big Face Hat. I'm saying, I can't come to the interview. Yeah, Big Face Hat. We can't keep focusing on him. We got to go here. I'm going to keep it real. It was one time when Ava was in jail, Big Face Hat was on her zone down. Yeah, Ava was in jail, he's on the down. He came through. Had the joint while I was hard for it. Let's look at the guy that's Mafia. Free ain't my fear, y'all right now, feel me? But you can tell hold it down, feel me? Every time, whenever artists went down from Hunzo, when Nodi went to jail, or Ben went to jail, always someone always came back to hold the, hold the crown down, keep Hunzo alive for that, basically, yeah. feel me? We always yeah. have some artists holding it down. Shout out to my boy Bone, man. So, so, Coolio. Introduce people to what they really don't know. Like, a lot of times, people been out here riding that Max Wave and Fergie and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, they just said. No, a lot of people don't know, like. You had French on the field. I had, I definitely had French, my ten on the street. Back in the days when I used to bring him to like shows when no you one heard showed it up, first, nigga. I, I'm bringing him to parties when French no one, no one, one out, showed up, man. It, on it, the it, hood, nigga. It, it, it was nobody yeah, there. Man. You know me? You know I did a lot of work with the French behind the scenes. You know me? Shout out to the French, man. I'm happy for him. Definitely, man. We gonna see each other again, most definitely. 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 Like, you know I did a lot of behind the scenes work. I'm saying, like, running around, getting Mac shows. Shout out to Hollywood Fur, getting Fur shows, Fur, getting French Fur. shows, shit like that. A lot of promoting. You know, basically like pushing their CDs to out here, bootlegging and shit, pushing and shit, and make sure they shit was in all the stores out here, doing the winging it, going to Boston, private and shit like that, running around, doing all the distribution, doing all that shit for you. Know what I'm so, so, you know, a lot of people out there, they see the glitz and the glamour of the game, and, you know, some people try to work to the streets, as we talked about earlier. You know, dudes around now, but they not from the same era and club. You feel me? Like, it's, a lot of everybody in here. It, it's a lot of fake street shit going on. Yeah, a whole there's, a lot, there's a lot of fake rappers, like, acting like street niggas, and it's, it's, it's not cool. Like, you don't have to be a street dude to be a rapper. You could be a suburban dude and still do your rap name. But it's a lot of dudes now trying to, like, play the images and, like, trying to steal our lives, man. We have friends that died over this, man. Look what just happened to Nipsey Hussle, man. Like, this shit for real. Rest so, in peace, Nip, man. Rest in peace, Nip. Man, shout out to Rest in peace, all of Rest in peace, Marnie, man. man. Like, man. like just, this ain't no life to glorify. Like, if, you, if you're you not from this walk of life, I chose you. Don't talk about it. Don't rap about it. Rap about what you do. If you like to party and have fun with females and all that, do that. But, like, dudes, is, if you're not street, don't jump in that lane. Because the consequences come with that. People gonna try to ride with you, Julie. People gonna try to try you, make you check in. They gonna try you. They're gonna, they, they gonna test you. They gonna test the real dudes that's in the streets. So you know they gonna test you. <laughs> so why yeah, yeah. you gonna jump in that lane? Yeah, word, this shit's not cool, man. Yeah, man. Be who you are. That yeah. makes the world a better place, man. That's the problem now, man. Everybody wanna be gangster, man. Everybody talking about gang, 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 gang. Come on, man. How some of you dudes bloods and cricks, man? I, I don't understand that. If you're from here and you didn't go out to the West Coast and got initiated. Mm. <laughs> Did, did you do it on the internet? Oh, bunch of shit. So, so you got squirted from the internet. Because if you ain't going to the West Coast, bro, you're not official, man. You got your work oh, oh, FedEx. Oh, oh, oh. I fuck with Bloods and Crips. I know guys that's really official. That's the spot. I fuck with dudes that's A trays and dudes that's from C the block and all that. That went out to the West and official. I'm not a gang member, but I fuck with them. So I don't want to stand some of this shit with some of you dudes, man. And then another thing what I don't like. We always against each other in Hartford. 
Like all the rappers trying to yeah, beat yeah, each other. You know, that shit's you know, corny, man. We got to stand together, man. I'm not feeling all this shit, man. This too much anybody just, just going against each other, anybody hating each other. It don't make no sense, man. It's a separation, man. Hold on for a minute, Greg. I'm going to let you tell them, but at the same time, let these dudes know because they may look at you now and be like, so what? He could talk about he was there with French Montana, but look where he at now and look at French Montana. But then again, that's the mastermind behind it. You know how to bring yourself up from whatever it is that you come to. I took it out. I went to jail. I'm so, trying to, so, at the same time, I'm trying to trap and be in the game at the same time. Explain to all of these people. Uh, exactly. uh, you had to what? You took a what? I took a loss. I went to jail. Fact. I, I was trapped at the same time trying to make this music pop off. I went to jail. That's how I missed the boat. Yeah, exactly. I went to jail when, when Prince popped off. Me and Fur both went to jail. So mm -hmm. a lot of people on the story what already happened. Like, what, what happened is, no, nah, we went to jail. We caught cases. Fur caught the case with the young bra, saying that he was doing the music shit. And a lot of people don't know his case. People criticize him. So I say, he, you know, he messed with little girls. No, but no, 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 man. He's a high profile rapper, man. He happened to be going to a club. Club Blue was 18 and over. He didn't know she happened to be young. She had a child at the time. And the consequences end up, she was underage. Mm -hmm. He got jammed up. He can't have any one of us doing music. Okay. But, you know, that's, that's another story. I'm going to let him talk about that. He can tell you all that for people. It's like I didn't go but I went to jail. I called the case. I had him on the cover cell. So that's what, that was my demise. But I'm back now. That's what I'm I came back say. even harder now. Uh -huh. I came back with my boy Starbucks. He's in the deal where I have. He got 80K. Heard you. I got my little 50% out of that. So, so, I, so um, what was it like? So, what, <laughs> so you heard? So, what, so, what, so, what, so, what, 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 <laughs> and then I came back with the number one web series, who the best growing web series in that motherfucking country, man. Yeah, look, look, hey, two facts, they blew in 12 states. Huh? We got over 800 views. Yo, explain to artists, because a lot of dudes are scared of contracts. One, the reason why you got 15%, and two, and then two, explain to a lot of dudes the reason why they may not get to where they at because of not, not having your type of service. No, so not having the right management sometimes too in the negotiated contract. Basically, it was a mixtape deal. Okay. Basically, I'm saying it was two mixtapes. Okay. So I a free AI app right now, feel me? Free AI app, was only boy, man. But it was a mixtape situation, basically. So that was the bad was for the two mixtapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying it's for the mixtape, basically. Two mixtapes, basically. That's all I was, feel me? Basically, feel me? Which we about to drop them now. We about to saying for yeah, we got the Yeah, we about to drop two mixtapes, man. Then we go out to OBH, man. Okay. Yeah, basically. So what's in So it's fun. What you about to say, bro? Yeah. So I piggybacking off that, right? So as far as the speculation, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody be talking, like you know what I'm saying? Like this motherfucker got a problem with this motherfucker. This motherfucker got a problem with that motherfucker. How do you deal with that? Sometimes me, I be neutral, like. And me being OG, I reach out to the artists because if it's, it's situations that people have problems with artists, I reach out and, and, and talk to the person and see how we resolve this because I'm 45 years old, man. I don't time to run around beefing, man. That, that shit corny. Lame as fuck. It, it's corny as hell. We ain't get no money. No, nobody got a bag of offer, man. No, no, nobody got no real money. Even the deal he got, we have, that's, that, that ain't about nothing, man. No. Ain't nobody got no real bag. Nobody got no million dollar deal. Nobody got no money, man. We all fucking struggling artists right now, man. So at least stop fronting all this shit. Stop man. the shit, man. Stop the shit, first, man. Yo, we ain't, ain't, ain't hey, nobody everybody. fucking got no bag. Nobody, oh, everybody struggling, man. Tell them, man. She costs money, man. I just be looking good. You yo. heard the kid Jordan Lucas. He's a monster, man. The biggest artist in New England is Jordan Lucas, man. And home <laughs> told you he said he did interview with Big Reg. He, he spent one hundred fifty thousand on his career, and he just not made to where he at. He got Eminem. And everybody doing songs with him now. Talk to him, man. And within a more. year, this shit costs a bag, man. Put him mm -hmm. on game. Yeah. yeah. It's your game, man. Invest back. You gotta invest your money, man. It's for real. So, you took all this fly shit and they rapped and, and bang and bang, sending all these bricks and shit, but then you see they rap through the deal like, oh, dog, like, you ain't spending money in your market right, promotion. Right, right. Spend $100 for you got video. more money. You got more money in the video than you spent on the video. Niggas had it act, they hot Honda, they, they, they vehicles out there, the whole jewelry, the Cotties, and the whole team out there, fresh to death, but won't spend no money towards marketing and promotion. You look in the video, niggas look like they spend like 20, 30 grand on the outfits, everything. But then you'll see no marketing and promotion on the video. Video look plain as fuck. Plain as hell. It look, uh, it look grainy and stupid. Like, you, you did this off an iPhone? Like, Chuck. what the fuck? So, so we got to step Chuck. our game up. That's Earlier, Chuck. <laughs> Earlier, I ain't talking about the quality of the video. I'm talking about 
Just much, period. It's just period. Like, like I know. So um, the rest of the world can see the video. Right, right, right. It's not about your friends. Marketing yeah. and promotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like marketing and promotion. Right, right. You know, the right from, um, marketing team, the right. promotion yeah, company, yeah, to get it out to the rest of the world. That 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 little video they did. That, um, that shit was dope. Though. That video was hard. Yeah, they they all it looked it good. You feel me? They made the hood look camera. good. You put a camera on something and it was like, okay, let me see. But I definitely, I ain't gonna lie. Team Grease had a good movement going on. So um, I, I like what they was doing. I just feel like they, they needed more marketing and promotion. Shout out to my boy Speed, man. That. Survival eight one five. Yeah. Man. Like, another thing might have on Harp artists though. As soon as Harp artists get a buzz, for some reason the fans come in when they go to jail. Because they it still never in the streets, no, they still in the streets. So we gotta realize yo, you can't your feet in the streets and the music industry. It's not gonna work. So you gotta you gotta figure it out. Guys, I'm gonna tell you guys, but you gotta get invested somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, but it, 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 it's hard, man. You got some dudes it's hard as fuck and they scared to get out there because they, they don't want to get hot. Mm-hmm. Saying and that be the problem, but in the day, they're gonna come for you regardless, man. So, my old, at least try getting on. It, it's fucked up, but it's like with the rap games, like, you like, they may go to jail just to get on, bro. It's fucked up. You get your little recognition. It's, 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 it's fucked up. But it's true. It's true. You didn't like to get on, bro. You know what it's called? It's a gimmick. Yeah, it's a gimmick. This is the world we live in. I don't know. I'm not no interview. I don't know you're fishing, nigga. I don't want to be Yeah. I don't know, like, Feel me? Like, I'll be with bro. Me and Liz, bro. It, it, the gimmick shit was selling. Everybody's talking about a gimmick. I'll be sitting back chilling. I'll be watching these niggas. I'll be like, mm-hmm. I got a vision. I just don't got no money. You know what I'm saying? That's right, baby. That's all I'm saying. Right, real nigga shit. I just That's don't got right. no money. Okay, nigga, I'm the type of nigga. Nigga could play me a song. I could be like, mm-hmm. I hear that shit. I'm the type of nigga. I could, like, I could picture your song. I could listen to your song and put you on it. Yeah. Like, yo, this is how your video is supposed to be. This going to make you blow. Yo, another thing, too, yo. Head. I'm glad you said that. Another thing, too, yo. Like, Fact. even down to me, my crew, yo, we don't capture the culture of Harper how we supposed to. We Without. don't capture the city. Like, in our videos, it'd it be two or three niggas, seven, seven eight deep. That's not enough. That's we got to be 100 deep, 200 deep. Yo, it's like niggas up. be running around here. Hey, hold up. Hold doing up. these videos, you know, hey, 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 if you cut the music hey, off, yo, you won't even know who these artists is. Where they from, what region they from. Like, 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 dudes be wearing a fucking a New York Yankee hat, and you ain't from New York, dog. You can't be a New York nigga, bro. You a Connecticut artist, man. I talk to these niggas. Hey, kid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm tired of seeing that shit, man. Connecticut artists is having a fucking New York Yankee hat on, bro. I'm not feeling that shit, my nigga. What's that for? I'm going to have on New York. 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 I don't give a fuck who don't like this interview, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, 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 For real. So, we, we talked about something outside when you was telling me about the flag and, like, unity. Yeah, it's time to bring unity. What's up with the unity? Wait, What's up with the unity out here, man? There's no unity. It, I'm going to keep it real. Harper, this, yo, Harper is a lawless city, man. There's no fucking rules, no guidelines. Don't close the streets, no rules. Oh, Everybody don't give a fuck about no OG code. In LA and Chicago, other, certain places, not even Chicago, but I see LA and other, other regions, the Miami, other areas. It's OG calls. It's certain rules and regulations that go down. But the OGs are moving right. You got some cool OGs out here too that's not moving right, doing fuckboy shit. So I can say all, all, all OGs moving correct. It's some fuckboy OGs too. It's some fuckboy young boys too. In the day. So I, I'm moving on some real OG shit. I don't do no fuckboy shit. If I'm just some fuckboy shit, your niggas dress me and let me know. Point blank, because I don't do no fuckboy shit. It's the end of the day. But it's a lot of fuckboy shit going on, and we're not regulating this shit. It's like no one's getting the bag. Let's come together. We got to take care of community. For all this robbing each other, hating on the dude because he got cars, or he got a better car than you, or I'm, I'm robbing him because he's from the side of town. No, man. Come on, man. You don't even know this, man. Why are we here to rob home? Yeah. You don't even know home. I ain't seen it. I understand it's hard, but if you go run the fucking bank, man. <laughs> no doubt. I'm not saying you're going to do that, but you're going to do some real <laughs> shit, do that, man. Yeah, like yeah. how we were saying earlier. They to feed their kids. Use a grill of shit out of You want to rob your own people, man. Grill, what At least they got insurance on that money. We scared, yeah. of, we scared of white people. You change yeah. up a little bit when you see the white no, people. No, they do the same when they see white men. How you doing? What they do? Yo, as soon as you start you walking, you back. How you doing? How they smile at them? <laughs> how you doing, sir? Have a nice day. Yo, we in beef with each other, but we scared of white people. Hell uh, yeah. This shit hey, yo, is crazy. Yo, you gotta cut the shit, Don't go crazy. Like, dudes will tell you you gotta check in. Like, lately I've been filming. Some people been filming Thomas Harper shit. Been a lot of oh, problems. Dudes start saying we had to check in, or dudes be getting mad. But yeah, let right, Channel 3 News pull up. You're not going to tell Channel 3 News they have to check in. You're going to let them film. You're going to let them film. But let's say I put up with Homicide Recruit. Yo, why you call a check in? 
you're gonna get the stun on me, or or, or, or someone in the, in the cast, whatever. They gonna gonna lie and say, yeah, we oh, make no, you check in. Oh around the way, check in. That's the crazy, bro. Is, it, is that yeah, serious? That's though? But but no, I'm saying, but dudes are trying to do that type of shit though. Boy, right. fast said, what up? What up, man? Peace, right, man. Bro. What's good, man? But it's fucked know, up yeah. though. But let Chill Three News pull up. You're not gonna say that to them. You're not. That's right. You ain't gonna say a goddamn word. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna say nothing to them. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna call 911 on your ass. <laughs> but I pull up, you know that. You, you know that either I, I, either I got the beat with you yeah, or piece yeah. it up. It's either gonna go two ways. Either we're gonna talk it out or we're gonna beat. Right. Most likely, I'm doing some film shit, you know I'm gonna piece it up. Yeah. That's why you're doing it, because you know I'm gonna piece it up. Being able to do some film That's shit. That's why you I'm did it. I'm not even that. Nigga, That's why you, you did it, really. Did. Well, like, niggas, know, niggas know when that shit out like hey, this. How you know? Bro, bro, you know when they have it out like this, they don't really want it. You can't because they already reliable. But it's fucked up, though. Because it's been shit that happened since the year, since we've been filming this shit. We had no problem with certain dudes. Or we had make dudes check in or try to, and they ran down on dudes. That didn't happen, man. Dudes was talking, that was it. After we left, dudes might have did a little bullshit, whatever, whatever. So, yo, so let me ask you this. What's your, what's, your, what's your focus with all this shit? What you hope to see out of all this? Right now, the, I want to see all of us win, bro. When they say your name at the end of the day, what you want them to say about Sal Pacino, man? Yeah, I brought a couple of platinum plaques back to the community, and I opened up a fucking school in Hartford. Mm. That's right. That's right. Positivity. That's what right. I want to do. I want to open up a school. I want, so, I want to be able to go back and buy the Kyle Bennett building. Shit, speak and make that fucking this school to art. What's the name of the school going to be? I don't know the name of the school, bro. Okay. Not right yet. Yeah, but that's down the line, though. We trying to I want to be the leader with other artists, though. And it's four or five artists out of Hartford that popped off. I'm like, yo, I got a mail. You got a mail. I got a mail. Let's put some money together. Then we go to the government, and they mm -hmm. piss money with it. And we go to the school in Hartford mm -hmm. so we can be able to So we can call our own. No yeah. No doubt. You know, other, other states not. have that, have schools of art for people who be engineer or be business management or, or electricians or be mm -hmm. plumbers or whatever. We, we have that in Hartford. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. I should change the youth. Like, this, this will happen. Crazy. People in Hartford get on. They make it back and leave. Right, right, right. Like, right. We have a lot of celebrities that made it. Behind, yo, you got right. Eric LaSalle. You got Marcus yeah, Camby. Marcus Camby. You got um, Candyman. You do Candyman, Candy Candy Tony Todd. The white dude. The white dude. Um, Gail King. He, 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 even Gail King. Uh, it's uh, steeper than that. You got to do that role. All the sitcoms back in the days, um, Good Times. All the black sitcoms back in the mm. days. Mm. He was really <laughs> smart. Okay. Yeah, he was. But we wouldn't know that. The new, the new youth wouldn't know that. Right, right, right. They wouldn't know that. Right, right, right. So it's like we have to get on. Like the change, man, change man. the future, Harper. So up? before we before we run in too much time, you know we got another guest as well. Before we take off, let the let the people out there know the energy you pushing, where you could be found, and what other services do you offer? Because he's a businessman. He's a also business. a manager. He's a businessman. Right, 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 right now, business is a business. Right now, the services I'm offering right now is mostly the marketing and distribution throughout New England. And tell them how you can be found again. You can find me on Instagram, Salvacino underscore. Hold up, hold up. I've been drinking tonight. Yeah, hold up. It's Sal underscore Pacino on Instagram. Yes, sir, man. You yeah. heard it first, man. The first professional businessman that a nigga and an artist can, uh, in the industry can actually say, yes, that man helped me. I got a try record. Exactly. I mean, I, I, it's a couple artists that. They might not have made it successfully, but they know throughout the East Coast or throughout New England. No doubt. So, great. Hey, yo, go to the, um, let me ask you something. Hold on. Let me ask you something. Who would you like to work with that's out right now? Who you just say, like, I ain't even say your top five, your top ten, nothing. From what? From Harvard? That's what far as far Harvard, yeah. It's CT period, you know what I'm saying? Because I was the old CT, man. Um, I, I, I actually, um, I like the kid the more, like, more like Wild Both Mount Bridgeport. The kid, Tiny Henny. Shout out to New Haven. And, um... From Hartford, my boy right here, stack him up. Sax Fifth, I, I, I fucks with him. Um, this other kid too from the South, and um, his name is um, the Holy Quran. Saying I, I, I like his movement right there for me, like him, for me. Who else I like? Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of dudes, but that's who the dudes are. I'm saying, what's I like? It's another dude from Harvard too. I like oh, man. from hard as hell. Fuck. Man. It's crazy as hell. I just fucking forgot his fucking name, man. Damn, he from Westland. The kid, um, then I heard a song the other day, um, I think it was, no, Chico Bud or Bud oh, Chico? Chico, 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 Chico,
dudes ain't saying fuck that jacket. 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 It's they never even had a family band, Kenny Park, for the hood. But you was from here, nigga, from my understanding. But, yo, we play a part of the community, yo. Exactly. We have to come together. We got to make the community what it is. But that's why we, we have to unify. It's that, time to bring all the artists like together, here. man. All this football shit got to stop, man. Everybody has to do this side, man. 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 Come together, man. Because cats, cats, get to come here. Keep the open empire shit, bro. We all from here, man. We all from Africa, man. Talk to him, man. All this other shit got to stop, bro. Talk to him, bro. For real, man. We all got to come together and unite, man. I'm not with this fuckboy shit. I'm about to start a movement, man. If you ain't with this movement, man, get out of here, man. What's some positive shit, man? We can roll together, man. Harvest in together. The whole fucking New England, man. Stand up, I fuck with niggas from Boston, Stand Springfield, up, Providence all over, man. It's about New England, man. It ain't about just Harper. Harper's small as hell, man. The Providence is not big enough for us to pop, bro. For real. True facts, man. It's not big enough, right man. Right we got to step our game up, bro. For real. Everybody got to start. Flawless these differences, man. Who the highest, man. Everybody just put their music out and just grind and just, just get a bag, man. Definitely. And stand together, man. Hell yeah. Come together, man. And stop fucking with the DJs. The DJs, man, stuck that game up to all you DJ niggas, man. Stop supporting New England, man. Stop supporting Connecticut artists, man. For real. You DJs, man. Stop being scared of playing this shit in the club, man. Fuck the radio. Like stop that, running bro. to the radio, man. Get your shit played in the club, man. Get your shit like Play that, niggas man. shit in the club. I don't give up about the radio, man. Play my shit in the club, man. Give me pop in the club, man. What up, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, my It's about to be problems, man. Hey, yo, man. DJs, man. Hey, yo, and yo. I said it, man. Hey, yo, he talking that talk, boo-boo. man. He talking that boo-boo. talk. Yo. Don't, don't get nervous, man. He talking that talk. Ain't nobody gonna whoop nobody ass, man. You make a beat, man. She done the blow it. She really ride it. She rolled up my way while I'm driving. I was gonna shoot him. She excited. She got it down for me. I'm 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 yeah, I'm sure that. I'm sure Anytime I call, she's still down to come. I already told y'all, she done a blow it up. She done a blow it up. She really ride it. She rolled up my way. I'm driving. I'm going to shoot it. She excited. She rolled it down for me. I'm a side bitch. She done a blow it up. She really ride it. She rolled up my way. While I'm driving. I'm going to shoot it. She excited. She rolled it down for me. Shit, man, you already know, man. Shout out to the whole gang. 
Shout out my boy Cool Q up the hill, man. Ingy shit, man. Shout out my boy Snacks Gig. You know, regular shit, man. Shout out to all my niggas, man. Free the real too, man. We here to the woods. Yo, so, shout out to the whole Hartford, man. Period. South and North and all this shit. So let's go. So when we was in the parking lot talking, you know, because you know, we all know that we street niggas when we up here doing this. So I was in and out of jail, so I remember you from when you was young, but you know, you came up and you prospered and doing what you're doing. And you know, I just seen you in the hood a little while ago in your dirt park. Like, yeah, hey, most definitely. You know, tell them about the you know industry part of this shit. How you moving and who you moving with? Oh shit, man. Last year I had a project. Well. We had a project, Route 44. I just started rapping, like, I can really say, like, it's really been like a year, I just started rapping, like, this shit new to me, but, like, as far as who I've been working with, been working with Snacks Gig, that's mainly, I mainly work with him, you feel me? Oh, fucking, I done work with, shit, Kid Rich, Richie P, you could say, shit, s Type, Hartford Poe, Shout out to boy Poe, man. You feel me? Shout out Ponzi Team Felon. Shout out Poe Strings Down, man. Shit. Man, that's good. That's basically it, man. Shout out to the app Ounces Cast, too. Ounces, yeah, what up, baby? I heard about that. No, we that shit, too. You know, Let's go. So, um, what, well, um, mixtapes you got out? How many mixtapes you got out right now? Oh, I don't got no mixtapes. I had a promo. I had a promo tape. Shit, a lot, of these, a lot of these rappers out here don't even got that. So, so explain you know, what the promo tape is yeah, for those that don't know. They don't even know. Rick, last year, I went. Last year, I had took a trip out to Miami for the um, Memorial Bike shit. Matter of fact, the Martin Luther King Bike Life shit. So, I had shout out to the Bike Life, life guys, man. We do yeah, that, man. Salute, man. Bike Life, man. That's my shit, man. I love that shit. But yeah, I shout out to Miami for that. So I just put together like four songs, put them shits on a disc, brought out like brought a hundred. Brought a hundred CDs out there with me, a bunch of flyers and shit, you feel me? Just promote them, just to get my shit out there, you feel me? You can't get heard just out here, you gotta go places, so that's, that's, that's what it was, basically. That's what it, That's what the whole project was basically for, pr- promotion, so that's what I, I called it, the promo tape. See, all right, I'm just calling it the promo tape. Yeah, exactly. All right, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So I see you with, um, Harvard Poe, the kid, um, AI with, um, Wax, and um, they got like a group or something, or y'all pushing around the way or you know what y'all doing with that yeah that was that it ain't you i want to say it was a group it was more collectively we all just came together you know just working and just put put all our songs on the cd just trying to get it out there like like i said i just started rapping so niggas was like yo you feel me you about to just put a cd out man, you're gonna get this shit started you want to fuck with it then we're gonna do it so i just took off from there it is what it is now. I'm here with niggas. So, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 look, so you know. I'm here with niggas doing an interview. Hey, no, yo, I ain't yo, doing yo. no shit like this. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Man, we gonna get power so, one way or another. When you say just started rapping, how long you just started rapping? A year. Yeah. Hell yeah, literally a year. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers be bringing your name on too. Word of everything. Like, that's home right there, yeah, man. I respect that. I appreciate that shit. So when the when the house is um is that still in effect? Yeah, right now it's a little slow motion. We got a writer. Our writer ain't around as we speak. We got a writer. Shout out to my boy Vest, man. V S O P. He ain't around due to some little shit. He in the military and shit. So a little, you know, some technical shit. But soon you should be having something coming in the next couple of months. I'm not really for sure yet, but it's still it's still when it works. So how do it feel like being behind the camera on some positive shit? You know what I'm saying? Shit, ain't nothing, man. I, I love that shit. Honestly, I come from that. Like growing up, that's all it was about. Like man, nigga, shit, niggas always looked out for me growing up. Yeah. Yeah. So shit, I always looked at it through adversity and all the other bullshit that niggas had. I always was a nigga that looked out or wanted to bring something back to everybody else. Cause niggas ain't had to do shit for me growing up, man. And I'm still here, so shit, why not? Shout out to all my people who think like he do, because you know we started this interview and he was like, I, I put a um a promo out like you know you, a lot of these up and coming artists as you know because you got some bathroom rappers, some guys who stand in their mirrors and rap in the bathroom to build the confidence. You feel me? Back in the day, like when you was younger, you see a girl, you like, damn, I want to go say hi, but 
She was her friends. You feel me? You got some bathroom rappers. They don't want to come out yet, and they, you know, they Shout trying. out to Cindy, man. That was me, me, man. <laughs> so, uh, so we to talk to Cindy. Cindy was dope as a Oh, well, shit, we name dropping. Shout out to Cindy, man. My name dropping, nigga. Outside, nigga. So, you know, you got to... Hey, yo, I see my cousin like your cousin. Yo, I love it, yo. So, you know... Tell them, tell them about the drive and the passion and everything that you're putting into it because I know we all doing this for one reason, you know, to gain success and become positive and push certain things. I hope we're not doing it for what we're doing it for or what some of these guys thinking we're doing it for. Yeah, no. So, you know, just, you know, tell them who you are. That's well, it. shit, if you listen to my music, it's, it's, it's based off of all street shit. Like, I don't, I don't talk no, like, I'm not talking no crazy, over exaggerating shit. If I am rapping about it, it's something that's obtainable or something that I want or one of my friends probably had. I'm not talking about nothing to tell a little dude go pick up a gun. But if you out here doing something, you have to protect yourself and your family as a man. So that's what I preach, man. I'm not out here to tell a nigga to be stupid, but I've been through it. So if I could send a message, just like I listened growing up, I listened to Young Jeezy, Yo Gotti, Rick Ross, like I listen to niggas that 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 I feel like was real hustlers. So mm-hmm. the way they took the way they took the game. If you listen to Jeezy, Jeezy still rap street shit, my nigga. But it's a message behind what he tell you. Feel me? That nigga ain't on the block selling birds, but he did that. So at the end of the day, it's like, damn, this this nigga really lit this shit. This shit, this is this is this is what it is. I done did this. I done did the most. You feel me? God, you feel me? God bless me to still be here, but like. I'm here to talk about it. Right? Yeah. So, so you know, with that being said, you know, again, we from the hood and we know each other. Like, do you feel like telling them about certain things because there's other business endeavors that's behind your name and people that you associated with? So, you know, because it's like you're pushing the rap career, but you've also been a part and exposed to certain things to give you the business understanding to be able to push you where you are today. Yeah, most definitely, like, feel me? Like, shout out to Swing. This motherfucker has some good ass shit. <laughs> shout out to motherfucking Swing. God damn. Yo, <laughs> fuck you came up with that shit, nigga. That's the least God damn. Shout out, shout out to my grandmother. My grandmother, my grandmother, my family, my family business oriented, you feel me? My grandmother owned Lala's La Mirage on Albany Avenue, you feel me? Like, Cornerstone of the hood. Yeah, that's man. Lot, man. Man. You know what time it is. If you wanna, if you wanna do something, man, you wanna do something, go do it. You feel me? Like shit. I used to stand in front of the store every day. Motherfucker, tell me I can't be in front of the store. Like, if I wanna be somewhere, I wanna own it. So you can't tell me shit. This is my property. This is where I'm at. This is what it's here for. Like, this is mine. Like, like, dudes, dudes can stand outside all day, be in front of a store. Wherever you wherever you hang at somebody house, but when they come outside and tell you you gotta move, you could be pissed off. You don't show them no respect. That's their property. You yeah. can't be bad at these people for that. Cause at the end of the day, they work for that shit. Yeah. So me growing up, learning this shit from my grandmother, my uncle, my grandfather, anybody of that nature, like it was like, yo, if you want something, nobody can't take nothing from you if you own it. So yeah. that's my that's where my drive come from. You feel me? Like set aside seeing all the. I'm not, and this is another thing. I'm not gonna glorify the other shit as far as seeing niggas pulling up in big cars, pull up. Yo, let me get a dollar, nigga. Pull out ten bands on you. No, I'm not gonna glorify that to y'all because that's not what it is. Because them dudes, there's some dudes that I know that was giving me five, ten dollars, but I can't even say what up to them right now because them niggas behind the wall. So, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the other people that gave me a positive perspective of chasing my dreams or doing whatever I had to do. Shout out, shout out to Al B, man. We chasing hundreds out here, man. So, you know, I I love to ride. I done fell off dirt bikes and been fucked up and jumped on the same day. So, you know, yeah, tell you them about that side of it. Do you get busy? You was just on a big-ass bike. Man. I got war wounds for my shit. Man. Okay, yeah, man. I got war wounds. I got war wounds. Bike life. I got that shit tatted all on me. Yeah, that nigga had that up. Bike life. That shit tatted in my skin. I love that shit. I'm Shout out to my cousin Demar, man. Diddy, man. He's a he's a this dude was just at DR the other day, Willie in the whole street. Yeah. He, he really rides. Really right. Shout, Shout out to, to the riders, man. Yo, hey, what like what's up, bro? What's up? At the end of the day, what you want from this rap shit? 
Shit. What you want from this entertainment shit? Because a lot of motherfuckers doing it, but it's like these niggas 50-50 with it. They're like, they like thugs and they rappers. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's like the only way you're going to make it, you got to be one. You got to be 100% animal cuz, or you got to be 100% on this music shit, and this shit got to be really your focus. So I'm trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? What's your perspective on what you want from this shit? Honestly, excuse me, what I want, I want I want success, and, and I'm not talking about as far as being famous. I want to be success as far as people knowing me, like shit. Last year, as a cast ounces, we had did a cookout, a Father's Day cookout. This year, I'm doing it again, a second second annual Father's Day cookout that's coming up. But as far as my music, I want people to know me for sending a message and putting it out there for everybody to know. Like, man, this street shit, it, it, it's, only, it's only one way, you feel me? It, no, not only one way, it's only two ways, dead and jail. Not too many niggas retire from this shit. Like, I know, I know, I know few, I know few dudes that made it out, but that's by the graces, man. Yeah. And them dudes, and them dudes, and they, don't, do some and they and exactly like they turn around, like they did a three sixty, like they don't look back. It ain't no, it's not no coming back from this shit. So what I what I preach in my music, what I really want, like I want dudes like y'all. If y'all listen to my music, I want y'all to feel my music, up, bro. I don't I care you. about. I want to give a fuck if Pete Diddy ain't care about my music. I ain't never seen Pete Diddy. P. Diddy standing on the corner. So he ain't no related down. to my music. You feel me? No, 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 no. Real down shit. No, no, no. A nigga, no, no, real shit. Like, a nigga like, a truth, nigga like Young Jeezy or one of them tell me, Jada Kiss, one of them niggas, be like, yo, man, that little nigga from Awful Home all. That shit make me feel like I did, son, because that's like, man, I got some real niggas that's listening to me that's that's hearing where I'm coming from. Really? Like the now the money side of it. Of course, everybody want the riches, but if that's what you, if that's what I, if that's what I'm gonna do it for, I want it for my kids. You feel me? And I want to bring it back to the community. And the the clarify that this ain't just because rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. This ain't just on the strip for Nipsey Hussle. I respect what that man did. But a year ago, I had an interview with DBN Radio in Springfield. Shout out to DBN. I've been preaching this unity shit and bringing niggas together so we could do the shit to at least real estate and gain some type of you feel me some type of success other than just chasing that bag like and i'm talking about on the streets everybody's supposed to chase the bag when i'm talking about chasing the bag my nigga I'm talking about chasing the bag on the street you ain't gotta just you can hustle a million different really ways is, other than picking up a pack man. Oh, hustling through the music that's what i'm gonna hustle through oh, that shit i might be 28 this year <laughs> Word boy Shaw, man. You, you a success, boy man. Shaw, man. You feel me? We from around the way, so no matter where I go Shaw. or where we go in life, you feel me? We always got connections to the hood. And on the real avenue, niggas. niggas. Where the avenue? Yeah. Right, 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 we right always now. here. Yo, what up, what's up, man? Group forty four. They get mad when I say avenue. Say group forty four, then. And your name is always one of the main players. Man, he on top of this game. He out there doing what he's supposed to be doing. Feel me? We don't. I don't care what you do. That's not my business. Where the album is really started from. You feel me? But you no. pushing the album is doing. You feel but me? You, but you know what I'm saying right now? Y'all rapping it right now. Y'all you know, my boy. You know what started from? Started from my boy. As far as true and deep. As far as as far as as far as the kids, as far as the kids, you know what I mean? What would you like to say to like the youth? You know what I mean? Like what what message would you get to you? You know what I mean? And what what you want? What? How do you want the kids to look at you? Because my, my whole shit be like the kids. I really don't give a fuck about the adults like that. You know what I mean? Because Facts. they hard to train. You know what I'm saying? They hard. They hard. They hard. To, they hard to get with really you sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's it's I, love I love the kids, man. I, I was honestly just blessed with a little boy. I got a boy and a girl. My son one. My daughter about to be eight this year. Shout out to Chubby and Chubby. I got the best of both worlds. And as far as kids, like shit, growing up, man, I wasn't really a kid, so. I embrace them, you feel me? My kid, like my nieces, my nephews, man, they come, you come up to my block, man, all the kids, they getting on bikes. Ice cream truck, pull up, all the kids get ice cream. Shit, last year at my cookout, my Father's Day cookout, I want all fathers to come. It's for the kids. It ain't about nothing else but the kids. Even if you ain't got a kid, your boy got a kid, man, be a father. If your man locked up, grab his seed, bring him to the park. We got free food. That's what I hear, man, for the kids, like. 
That's what no. it's all about. That's the future. It ain't no other fuck way. Like, fact, you that. feel me? If I drop right now, what the fuck am I gonna like? I I can't do nothing. My kids gotta my kids gotta stand behind something. And if my name ain't if my name left shit it like if my name is left shit it on and I don't got no respect, what do my kids live by? You feel me? Yeah. It fuck the money. Like the money yeah. don't really mean nothing. Yeah. If a nigga if a nigga don't respect you, your kid can't walk down the street and be safe or be like you feel me. Your kid yeah. gotta worry about something because. You're not respected, or you feel me? And I'm not worried about being somebody. Just respect me and shit. No Anything that come behind me, respect that. That's all it fucking is. Like, no. period. Jeez, that's what it is with Jews. my kids. Like, no. nothing else. That's what it is. Like, nothing else. When it comes to the kids, respect and just showing them a better way. And shit. Anything I want to tell a kid, man, stay in school. Shit, I got stay kicked, in school, man. I got kicked out in 12th grade. You heard? I was able to walk across the stage at Fox. And I got a standing ovation from the whole fucking auditorium, my nigga. <laughs> that was the last fucking yeah. time, you heard? No. I wanted to be in that motherfucker too, you heard? I swear. But man, stay in school, that's it, man. Education first. Hey, yo. Man. Don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. That's right, that's right, that's right. And yo, knowledge is everything, man. They can take everything from you, but they can't take it, man. They, take, they can't take your wisdom, man. Real nigga. You know what I mean? I was Bro. having a guy, yeah, Brody. I was having a conversation with somebody today, and I was telling them about, you know, shout out to my boy Poop I Live, man. Poop. Oh, and man. I remember Poo. one day, real, we Poo. was in the gym, yeah. we was, you know, <coughs> high, and, you know, we in the shower, so the battery was done off. So I'm like, we need another battery, man. So he's like, go on my locker and get it. He had a lot of books and shit, but he only had a little bit of food. So when I went back to him later after what he was doing, I'm like, yo, can you straight? You need... I'm like, man, great. I got rats on my books. I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> Once I eat all them snazzy-ass mofungos and I shit that out, that $75 every week is gone. I wasted my people money. But with these books, that shit ain't going nowhere but up here. And when I need reference, I can still go get it. So that money well invested. You feel me? So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. That's why I'm calling you. Like, you know, like, like, hey, yo, let me ask you to. What you think it's going to take for a Connecticut artist to really make it and blow out of it. Good question. Like, get to the next level of it. Shit, man. One, support, the support system out here is weak as a motherfucker. Facts. And that comes from, and, that, and that's, that's with anybody. And I'm speaking from niggas. <laughs> and that goes from niggas that I fuck with, niggas that I don't fuck with. I could not fuck with a nigga, but if I like his music, I'ma listen to it. I might not go live listen to your shit, promoting your shit. So what? I listen to it. You got views off of me, my nigga. It ain't about like I don't like I'm not I, I'm not to promote bullshit because I'm 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 a street nigga at the end of the day. I'm not here to promote no bullshit, you feel me? So it's a lot of diverse shit in Hartford. Hartford only but so big. But as far as artists now, you feel me? Support one another if you if you out here and you doing it respectably, you feel me? I said this before too. Respectably, I work with anybody out here. We, we ain't got no issues. I ain't got no issues with nobody. And if I do, and if I do, niggas know who I got an issue with. And these niggas ain't rappers. So niggas can step to me and niggas know where the fuck I be at. I'm there all the time and I'm not hard to find. So with that being said, it's always about support though. Like Stop shunning away. If somebody shit bullshit, tell them they shit bullshit. And I'm not saying that to hate on a nigga. Sometimes niggas gotta be able to accept criticism. Like, yeah, yeah. If niggas don't like, like if niggas like, yo, man, stack, man, you, you gotta work on that, man. That shit wasn't, I wasn't feeling that like that. A word, all right, good look. I gotta go back and get on my shit. Real niggas telling me that the shit wasn't sounding right. You feel me? So now, if if a nigga out here, he just out here doing anything, you feel me? Like, you got some niggas that, you got some niggas that could come out here, they could put out a video, you feel me? Now, not put out a video, they could shoot and be shooting a video. Now, when he's shooting a video, yo, I'm about to shoot a video. You get three, four niggas pulling up. Now, you call a nigga to tell niggas you might go to a motherfucking concert and go see a nigga like Meek Mills or Lil Baby. Lil Baby coming tonight. Call a nigga to tell niggas you might go see Lil Baby. Oh, who got tickets? <laughs> I'm about to go buy a whole so, outfit just for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't hating on them niggas. Much money I ain't hating on them niggas at all. You feel me? I ain't hating on them niggas at all. But at the end of the day, y'all want to money on somebody else. That's that liquid money shit. No, real shit. Y'all want to support somebody? 
man, I feel good to be able to say, man, I'm about to go see shit. What's your, your boy? Starbucks. Yeah. I'm about to go see Starbucks or I'm about to go see my boy Cool Q. Home yeah. performing over there. He got the up down. Feel me? Niggas ain't doing shit like that. Nah. Like, that shit fake though. It'll feel good to be able to say, man, oh shit, my boy got the podcast. Like Hot 97, his shit lit. I know home. You feel me? Home from my block. You feel me? That shit feel good to just be able to say shit like that. Like, stop worrying about the next motherfucker's success yeah. and worry about yourself. And you will, yeah. and this shit will grow. Like, niggas. Niggas. You gotta get an interview though. Niggas. You gotta be a real nigga. Okay, you gotta be a real nigga. What we was doing today. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, this this why this shit happened. We pulled up on that and they why it happened. This all the destiny happened. No doubt. Cause cause bro lit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, we, we take an interview and shit, bro. Listen. Hey, yo, we yeah. came through. What happened? We I said, kick what up. You pulled up, you you stayed through for young. And the white ghost came through. Yeah. I said, bro, what happened? Yeah. You stayed through for young. Yeah. Young. Yeah. 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 Flea come through on the block on the bike, 12 o'clock. Yeah! yeah. yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Real talk. This what happened. Yeah, what happened. I'm not lying. I know. I'm not lying. This what really happened. Feel me? You said, yo, kick. I got this shit. Bum, 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 bum. Kick right here. I'm going to pull up. Really and we here right now. Get into it, man. That's Jules, I'm man. Really I know what time it is. So in your opinion, yeah. fuck it. We going to take it there. Who some of these rappers out here that you feel as though don't even need a shot, bro? You felt like it. You know, because there's a lot of tippy toes. You should ask me that question. You ain't ask me that. We can ask I'm you that right too. You're still here, nigga. You're still here. When you want to put me under the gun, you want to start some fucking up. I'm on that statue because you know why. I know why you asked me because I'm a manager, so I'm going to buy his poppy. He an artist. Exactly. He an artist, so I'm going to ask him in his life. I'm the. The bad man, ask you for the street point of view. Fuck me being self to the man. I'm Diddy. How you feel about it? My boy Ruger too. I got my boy. What you doing? You saying who don't deserve a shot or who deserve a shot? Who in the way? I'm on the way. Rappers that trying to beat me. Like they they rap blocking. They like you know. I don't. I see. I don't listen to no. I don't listen to nobody. You feel me? Now if I don't like. Fuckboy niggas in a way. If I don't name you, be if I niggas. don't name you, two gangster niggas. If I don't name to, you, that means that means that's, 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 that's a group. Listen, to that. That. no, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want, I want, I want y'all to hear this. Yeah. If I don't name you, it's either I don't listen to your music or, like he said, you gotta get the fuck out the way. Mm. Period. Now that's just the way it is. Mm. Cause I ain't, I, I don't listen to a lot of niggas from out here, but I do listen to a certain few. Now I'm gonna start with niggas that's not even in my camp or even around me. Cool Q, I fuck with him. Num- like I fuck with his shit. Stay in the in my shit. Like I listen to his shit all the time. Cool. Like Shout that. out to that He's kid fine. Sax Fifth. I listen to that kid Sax Fifth. His shit hot. So I'm Sax, man. Yo, feel me? Shout out to everybody. Yeah, first yeah, keep from up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool Q, Sax Fifth. I listen to them niggas. Who else? Richie P. Oh, no, no. Matter of fact, I ex- exclude that. No, Richie P. Is he's a part of like he's from around the way, so he came. That's my boy's son. DB Rex, right? Who? Uh, Richie P. Richie P. No, no, Richie P. Rich, um, his father ain't named Sax Fifth. Who else? Um, see, that's fucked up. I don't listen to nobody. You being honest, fuck it. I don't listen to niggas, you heard? You feel me? Cool Q, Sax Fifth is. And Dyson, them niggas. These, them niggas is from around the way. That's why I don't have to, I don't have to name niggas that I rap with because I'm not rap. If I don't rap with you, you, you know you whack. That's why, that's like when we, when I said something about the, about the comedy. Tell us from your features. You got features. Who you work with? No, who you don't work with? You got mass songs in Castor in game. But no, he ain't named half the niggas he don't got songs with. But most of those people are the people that he. he that, that's with. so explained these songs. That's what I said. They're not people he want to work with. These songs you got done. Already. So who's in your camp? Let's that. Who's in your camp, buddy? I like that. Niggas who are in my camp? Well, shit. Snacks, giggity. Shout out to boy Snacks, man. Wax and Co. Shout out to boy, boy Wax, Wax, man. Only built this thirty giggity. niggas, man. My boy AL, man. He behind scenes, but shout out my boy AL, definitely. Richie P, he was a part of the um, Route 44 um, project. Um, 
Shout out to that kid, Elviana Dom, man. Nigga, <laughs> 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 sue you. Why you laughing? Who that yeah, kid is saying that kid nuts? That kid nuts. That kid nuts. My boy. Motherfucking. And shit. My boy Fox. Man, YMG, the YMG camp, my boy Fox. Fox Shout out to my he boy shot. F. Diddy, man. My boy Fox, <laughs> yeah, man. That's the bro, man. That's the, that, that's the YMG camp. Yes, you do, man. Fox, D-Shot. My, my, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. my boy Tuwa, Tutan. My boy, I thought Fox. Philly, City, Dice. Definitely. Yeah, my oldest one, yeah. Get on the low, on the low. My boy, my boy Loaf be rapping, too. My boy Rock. But, you know, we got some quiet, we got some quiet rappers on the low coming out of the avenue. But, you know, man, cool. So, coming up here next week. Fuck being quiet, man. You gotta come out, you gotta come out. I'm trying to get Say man, it's real nigga time, man. Fake niggas get the fuck out the way. And when I say that, I'm not talking about just being a real nigga as far as being in the street. Yeah. Being real, be your fucking self, my nigga. Stop trying to portray to be something that you ain't. Like, if you was in the streets, you had your, you had, you what? You probably got knocked off, and the shit wasn't for you. You went to jail, you came home, you got a job, shit working out for you. You got a better life. You ain't got to worry about looking over your shoulder no more. Do that. Do not. Come back out here if you know you not ready for that shit. And you and you go back and next thing you know, you want to give one of your mans up or some bullshit. Like, don't do that. That's fake. Like, you feel me? Stay now, away. you grew up with, like, feel me? You got dudes that grow I know a bunch of niggas that grew up around me that do not hustle, that don't do shit. And I respect these niggas. These niggas are still my brothers till this day. They do not have to be street niggas. No be doubt. yourself. Shout out to Don and, Hats, man. And I'm saying that My because boy, that's what the fuck this shit is. <laughs> like when you say yeah, like, really. a nigga, a nigga will really clout chase and try to throw dirt on your name to try to be something. I say now, exposed to be exposed, motherfucker. Yeah. A nigga, a nigga, quick to uh, be quick to expose you, but turn around and some shit that a nigga got on him, so he gonna get exposed to. Yeah. Yeah, real yeah. niggas don't get exposed because real a nigga can't step to a real nigga. That's right. That's right. And so, the real nigga gonna tell you what the fuck he did nine times out of ten. No doubt, it's right. over, it won't even matter. Hey yo, so what's um what's your definition of a real nigga for those that don't know? Man, stand up, a stand up person, man. Just you just being who you are, genuinely, like a motherfucker asks you for something, not borrow, asked, meaning they need it. So if they if they came and asked you for it, give it, and you gave it to them, it shouldn't be a oh I did this for you. So like no, you gen if you love that person and they ask you for something, you genuinely gave it to them. You feel me? Like another thing, like like I just was saying, being yourself. Don't try to be somebody or fit in. Like I don't I don't gotta be with a bunch of niggas that's pulling out guns and shit or like feel me? A bunch of drug dealers. I could go hang with. People that's regular square, you feel me? Squares, you feel me? And still carry myself as who I am, but respectably they know who I am, and I'm gonna respect them too. You feel me? Like yeah. you can't go in a room yeah. and try to like, all right, me being who I am, I go into a room with a bunch of motherfuckers that got jobs, and now I'm trying to talk proper. Yeah, I look like a fucking idiot. Like, what the fuck you talking about? You don't even know what you don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> No. You don't. No. Uh, no. Just, no. Like, you feel me? You just like a yeah. fool, just trying to say shit that don't even like. Motherfucker, that sparked up a conversation with you, ask you a question, and then when you start talking, it's like, 
you don't got nothing like feel me? you don't even know where to go with the with the question that they ask you like the shit just you love your city my nigga man yeah i love my city if i made it i'm gonna stay here why you love the city because this shit made me it's amazing hell yeah this shit made a lot of real niggas it made a lot of real niggas but hold on it made a lot of real niggas yeah. i lost a lot of real niggas mm. uh-huh. It's a lot of little, it's a lot of little <laughs> bitch niggas running around. <laughs> it's a lot of you motherfuckers. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to get crazy. I don't want to get crazy. Me and Docs. Wow, what do you call them? <laughs> me and hoes, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but like, a lot of that, man. man, a lot of a lot of you niggas that's out here that is trying to be gangster, or whatever, man. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Please, <laughs> the, the time, the time, the time of money, to, man. The time of trying it. to be gangster it's all about money, man. It's that's over. It. If you wanna, if you wanna see what the life was about, read a documentary. Or just, oh, cool, I was about to say, watch, 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 watch you. 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 Watch they made man, they made sidewalks. Man. They made sidewalks. They made porches. Right they made oh, cribs. No, they crazy. also made cribs oh, for some of you little niggas. Like right. crazy. Stay in your <laughs> lanes, man. That's all I can say. Like stay in lanes. I'm a, I'm I, I can really say like you feel me? Watch like I don't watch you. You feel me? My boy right there. My boy sitting man. I, he watched me grow up, man. I don't watch that nigga, man. Like facts, nigga. I don't watch some of the great. I don't watch some of the greatest. I've been out here. Like from for the avenue, I watched three generations. You heard? You heard it first, man. That's three how generations. Long been out here. And I ain't I ain't really got too much from that shit, but you gotta get the fuck out of here. No doubt. No doubt. That's, 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 that's the it. Hood, nigga. And everything that I thought, like every time I as I got older, niggas that I thought was the shit. I don't even respect them niggas no more. Them niggas, no. man, fuck niggas. Niggas look up to me. <laughs> no doubt. Like, no. I don't, I don't, that's I don't, some crazy, bro. and it's just like I, I don't want no little nigga to grow up. I feel like that about you. And feel, no, a little nigga ain't gonna. A little nigga can't feel like that about me. No doubt. No doubt. I bring it to him how it is. No I would never. I would never drag a little nigga. Man, I got little homies to this day that come outside, come hang around me. I tell them you know, man, you don't want to be out here. This shit never said. This shit is not what it is, bro. That shit, that man, all that shit that niggas was doing, it ain't what it used to be. Over. Man. That, that shit over. over. It Stop is bluffing. done. It is Stop done. Stop bluffing. A lot of niggas Stop that's bluffing. out here, a lot of niggas that's out here Stop acting bluffing. like they doing <laughs> shit. Like, and these chicks know it's hard out here too, nigga. Yeah, man. They just let y'all perform, nigga. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Better stop, nigga. Better stop, yeah. stop yeah. checking off on that late night, buddy, nigga. Yo, yo, the now, call the yo, and jam, nigga. Now, they don't want street. That's out the door, bro. You ain't a, you ain't a ball player or baller or a rap star or someone in, in, that, in that field or Dr. Yeah. Lori. They don't want regular. That's yeah. all I do right now. Bro. They don't want to regular. That's how niggas got it. Back in the 90s, yo, it was an honor to be a drug dealer. Last year, you need to be a criminal. I'm going to fuck. After early 2000s, you got to do it, bro. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. This shit's been out the door, bro. This shit's so real. They want to do to get sick. They want to do to get millions of dollars, man. They want security. I'm X.
Let's stack them up right here. Give me 16, man. Stop playing around. Give us a beat. 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 Give Man, we want some mob shit. We from that era. Mob beat. We want mob We from that mob era. Uh, we want that ready for this shit. Play that street like Diddy out here, nigga. Fuck that nigga. Everybody get a little world, man. We here, man. It's hard, man. Mob shit. We want 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 mob Rest in peace, prodigy, man. Give me another, give me another beat. I could do that shit. I could tell it. Cut the beat. Cut the beat. You wanna go first, Trent? You go. All right, all right. Check it, Rabbit, yo. I got some gun talk for y'all. Yeah, yeah, that gun talk. Talk yeah. how you want to. Fuck it. We rapping. It's positivity. Get a check. <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen, man. Oh, Tell me how you do dumb shit. Parental guidance. Listen. If you ain't got your gun, then you slipping. German Luga Ruga, homie, yo, that Smithin'. Fuck them high points. Them shits be sticking. Glock 9 with that 30. That shit rip, man. Get into the money. That's the mission. I put a hole in the nigga interfered with. Stack a star YMG, G1 Neat, nigga. We from the avenue, but this one for the beat, nigga. Mm. On SIG with the SIG, that's a Fendi, homie. On the 40 with the 40, yeah, I keep it on me. Don't fuck with the gang. The beef, you don't condone it. But if you get it fucked up, nigga, we really on it. I catch you when you least expect it, hit you in your stomach. Broad day, pocket nine, nigga, how you want it? Ah, okay. Uh, that's okay. Fire. That's fire. That's fire. Okay. That's fire. Okay. That's fire. Put that beat back over swing. Nah, I don't know. Swing, so he don't know beat. Uh-oh. 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 That's your boy Swing. This swing, man. This swing. You know, swing. I'm, I'm the captain of this shit. Yeah. Let me act the crazy. He loves it. He loves the rap. Man, fuck it. I just like to talk. Everybody, he's a motherfucker. I'm serious tonight. Like, you know, I speak with poise. You feel me? Yeah. But again, you know, we about to go off. It's getting kind of late. I was supposed to go see Chubby, but you know, this bracelet got my Chubby, what up, Chubby? <laughs> Man. Shout out to the hood, man. You feel me? All my guys up and down the avenue, but only in the perimeter. It was all the dream, motherfucker. <laughs> you feel me? My 109 vets, man. Shout out to my Nito and Smooth and Fifth Vineyard. Serious. You heard PT. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, ask all my other niggas, man. Shout out to my boy Set over there. He kind of dumb it off. Yeah, yeah. 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 little trick, man. Shout out to Chloe, man. My little Brody 23 tomorrow, man. Graduate you kind of next month, boy. We up, boy. Daddy love you, nigga. That's good, Daddy love you, nigga. You hear me? That's good, Chloe, Chloe, you already know what the fuck Shout out to my boy Sal Pacino, man. Before you go, it's like, guys, man. my nigga, man. We going places, man. About to sign that contract, man. We up here, man. Hey, yo, shout out to all the young black entrepreneurs, man. Shout out to all of them, man. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to all of them, 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 man. Shout out to all of